Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Chukuma, fondly called Kaduna Nzogu, was born on the 26th day of February 1937 in Kaduna and died on the 29th day of July 1967. He was a Nigerian military officer who played a leading role in the 1966 Nigeria coup d'etat which overthrew the first Nigerian Republic. Patrick Chukuma was born into a Neoma family. He attended two Christian schools in Kaduna for his elementary and secondary education, the St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School and the St. John's College. In March 1957, Nzogo was enlisted as an officer cadet in the Nigerian Regiment of the Royal West African Frontier Force and proceeded on a six-month preliminary training in the Gold Coast. He completed his training there in October 1957 and proceeded to the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst in England, where he was commissioned as an infantry officer in 1959. He later underwent a platoon officer's course in height and a platoon commander's course in war minister. After his return back to Nigeria in May 1960, Nzogu was posted to the Nigerian Regiment 1st Battalion in Enugu, where Major Johnson Ageironsi was the second in command under a British officer. He was later posted to the 5th Battalion in Kaduna, where he became friends with Ulushego Basenjo. His Aousa colleagues in the Nigerian Army gave him the name Kaduna because of his affinity with the town. After serving in Congo in 1961, Nzogu was assigned as a training officer at the Army Training Depot in Zaria for about six months before getting posted to Lagos to head up the military intelligence section at the Army headquarters, where he was the first Nigerian officer. The forerunner of the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps was the field security section of the Royal Nigerian Army, which was established on November 1, 1962. The field security section was essentially a security organization whose functions included vetting of Nigerian army personnel, document security and counterintelligence. Major Nzogu was the first Nigerian officer to hold that appointment from November 1962 to 1964. As a military intelligence officer, he participated in the treasonable felony trial investigation of Obafemi Awolowo and other action group party members. According to Olushego Basenjo, Nzogu had some skating remarks to make about Nigeria's national security and also those who were being investigated. According to Nzogu, he said that if he had his way, his treatment of the whole case would have been different. Nzogu reportedly antagonized some army colleagues of his capacity as a military intelligence officer and even clashed with the Minister of State for the Army, Ibrahim Tako. Consequently, he was posted to Nigerian Military Training College in Kaduna, where he became chief instructor. The planning of the coup began with an inner circle of university-educated young officers who intended a national military revolution by seizing power in the regional capitals of Kaduna, Northern Region and Ibadan, Western Region, and later taking control of Lagos. Nzogu was tasked with leading the revolution in the northern region starting with Operation Damisa on 15th January 1966 and at later stages Operation Kura, Operation Zaki and Operation Giwa which would have culminated in the murder of the northern establishment. Nzogu had started his preparation by organizing a two-day night exercise, Damisa Operation Tiger, to train in soldiers in new fighting techniques. The exercise was approved by authorities of the 1st Brigade Headquarters, apparently unaware of the real intentions of Nzogu and the Brigade Major Afonso Keshe. He had sent circulars to all units operating under the Brigade to contribute troops towards the success of the exercise. By the time Major Keshe realized, Option Damisa was actually a military conspiracy, it was too late to counter the operation. In the early hours of January 15, 1966, Nzogu led a group of soldiers on a supposed military exercise, taking them to attack the official residence of the Premier of the North, Sir Amedu Bello, in a bloody coup that saw the mother of the Premiers of the Northern and Western Nigeria. The Prime Minister, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, a Federal Minister, Festi Okote Ibo, and a top army officer from the Northern and Western region of the nation were also murdered. From the existing government, the Premier of the Eastern Region, Michael Opara, the President of the Nigerian Federation, Namdi Azikiwe, and the Eagle Army Chief Johnson Agui Runsi were notable survivors. 
Nzogo's modus operandi in the north contributed in no small measure to the success of the coup in northern Nigeria. According to a Nigerian Police Special Branch report, Nzogo executed at least four army and police security personnel including one of the men on his team, Sergeant Daramola Oyegoke. Nzogu also participated in the execution of Colonel Raf Shodeinde, a superior officer at the Nigerian Military Training College. After waiting for an early morning radio announcement from Major Adewali Ademoyega in Lagos, which did not take place because of the failure of the coup in Lagos, Major Nzogu made a mid-afternoon announcement declaring martial law in northern Nigeria. Following the announcement from Kaduna, an information that Nzogo was gathering forces to attack Lagos, which was a huge possibility at the time, Major General Aguin Yerunsi sent emissary led by a man Major Nzogo heavily respected, Lieutenant Colonel Conrad Wawo, to Kaduna to negotiate peace talks with Major Nzogo and a possible surrender. Major Nzogo set conditions which General Yerunsi agreed to. Aguin Ronsi assumed power and Nzogo was later arrested in Lagos on 18th January 1966, contrary to the agreement earlier reached between Nzogo and Ronsi. He was held in Kirikiri Maximum Security Prison in Lagos before being transferred to Aba Prison in the Eastern Region where he was released in March 1967 by Governor of the Eastern Region and future President of Biafra, Chukwemeka Ojuku. Some claim that Nzogu's participation in the January 1966 coup was part of a grand Igbo agenda to dominate the country, forgetting the fact that Nzogu was only Igbo by name because he was born in the northern region of Kaduna. When not in his army uniform, he wore northern muftis and frequently referred himself as a northerner. Nzogu spoke Aosa fluently like a native, in fact, his command of Aosa was better than his command of Igbo. On 30th May 1967, Biafra declared its independence from Nigeria. This was spurred by the incessant killing of Igbos in northern Nigeria and the refusal of the then military head of state, General Yakubu Gowon, to mobilize security personnel to stop the killings. On July 29, 1967, Nzogu, who had been promoted to the rank of a Biafran lieutenant colonel, was trapped in an ambush near Nsuka while conducting a night resonance operation against federal troops on the 21st Battalion under Captain Mohamed Inouwa Wushishi. He was killed in action and his corpse was subsequently identified. However, his sister insisted that he killed himself to avoid being humiliated by the federal troops. After the defeat of Biafra, orders were given by the Nigerian military head of state, General Yakubu Gowon, for him to be buried at the military cemetery in Kaduna. Full military honors.